what do you remember about your years in Ghana? I know you were only up to you four years old. What what memories do you have from, from being there? Um, uh, first of all, that's your life. Um, I see pretty much, I remember a lot of, uh, pretty much everything from a time in Ghana. Um, I think when I was little, playing with my sister, we, I remember one time one of our uncles took us to get water guns, kind of just uh, shooting at each other in the car uh, all the way right, the ride back to our house. Um, everything from dinners at my grandma's house, um, hanging out with my mom, really, pretty much everything. When you knew you were moving from there to the States, uh, were you sad, were you scared? What, what feelings did you have? I think I was too young to the point to really have uh, an emotional attachment. At that time, I think uh, I just knew we'd get on a plane and uh, travel with my mom, and that's about it. <laughs> was that the first time you've been on a plane? Yeah, that was my first time. I think yeah. I wasn't scared. I kind of just, oh, this is fun. I remember seeing, I think my first time seeing a plane, like we were right next to it. It was just a big kind of uh, machine. It, just, uh, it was surprising and shocking, kind of exciting a little bit, but nothing really scary to me. Yeah. What um, education is obviously very important in your family for you, more about your your uncle that's a professor at Georgia State, yeah. and that was important to your recruiting process. Um, where did that come from? Who, who, who pushed that in your family? I think it's always, uh, it's kind of like a generational thing. I knew my mom always kind of pushed on me, my grandma always pushed on me. Pretty much everyone in my family uh, said, the kind of three options you're always given in an African household is being a doctor, engineer, or a lawyer. Even though no one really in the family else was a lawyer, doctor, engineer, so uh, they always kind of harp on education, really that knowing that they didn't have the opportunity, but now that you're in the States, they brought you to the States for, for this opportunity to get a better yourself, get a better education, to provide for your family in the end.